From an actress who worked as an office temp to get by, to one who cried every day on set, today we look at actresses with distinct looks. Number 19, Natalie Dormer. Quirky yet beautiful, Natalie Dormer was Cressida in two of the Hunger Games movies, and most recently Marjorie Tyrell in no less than 26 episodes of Game of Thrones. Well, someone had to love Joffrey. Her first major role as Victoria in the movie Casanova with Heath Ledger came just six months after she completed acting school. Although after that role, she was out of work for nine months and ended up working as a temp in an office in order to pay her rent. But she says it was the best thing that could have happened early on in her career because she realized you can never get above yourself or have a superiority complex. Number 18, Maggie Gyllenhaal. As the daughter of filmmakers Stefan Gyllenhaal and Naomi Axe, and older sister of Jake Gyllenhaal, Maggie was always going to be big. You might know her from Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang, White House Down, or from her time in theater. But did you know that she was once rejected for a film role on the basis that she was just too old to play a love interest? Rude! Number 17, Chloe Sevigny. Chloe Stevens Sevigny is an American actress, musician, model, and fashion designer to the elite. She was esteemed for her role in Boys Don't Cry in 1999, which was a drama about the murder of a trans man. She has also played a teenage girl from the poorer areas of New York who discovers she is HIV positive in the drama Kids. For someone who was raised in a Roman Catholic household, she has a penchant for gritty roles and social commentaries revolving around often unspoken subjects. Number 16, Amanda Seyfried. Famous for her unique image, Amanda Seyfried has stood out against the pack in many of her roles. She was ditzy blonde in the 2004 hit Mean Girls, the beautifully toned Cosette in Les Miserables, and Louise in 100 Ways to Die in the West. Ironically, Amanda Seyfried was accepted to Fordham University but never attended a single one of her classes because she was playing her infamous dumb blonde role in Mean Girls at the time. Number 15. Sarah Jessica Parker Most known for her role as Carrie Bradshaw on the HBO television series Sex and the City, the 5'3 inch Sarah Jessica Parker is an icon of the silver screen. She's also pretty well known for her roles in the original Footloose and Girls Just Want to Have Fun, firmly pinning herself as a go-to for romantic comedy and chick flick lovers. Though she has it all now, she grew up in relative poverty with her seven siblings. Number 14, Linda Hunt. Linda Hunt, whose actual name is Lydia Hunt, made it big when playing a male character called Billy Kwan in The Year of Living Dangerously. At 4 foot 9, she was a perfect choice to play the dwarf. Before that, she had a role as Mrs. Oxhart in Popeye, was in Kindergarten Cop, and most recently, Solo, a Star Wars story. What many don't know is that she voiced Grandmother Willow in the Disney Pocahontas movie. Number 13, Lisa Kudrow. There is a role that almost everyone knows Lisa Kudrow for, and we fell in love with her somewhat eccentric character, Phoebe Buffay, in Friends. Kudrow already had a role as a waitress named Ursula in the show Mad About You, which aired at 8 p.m. on NBC, and then she got the part in Friends, which aired immediately after at 8.30 p.m., also on NBC. The character Ursula, Phoebe's evil twin sister on Friends, was created because they need to explain to the audience why they were seeing the same actress in two different shows, one right after the other. Number 12, Christine Baranski. Known mostly for her role as Marianne Thorpe in the sitcom Sybil, until recent years, it was a pleasant surprise when Baranski landed another great sitcom role in The Big Bang Theory. During an interview with CBS Watch Magazine, she actually revealed that if she were a good wife viewer, another show she featured in, she would have a crush on every male character in the show. Flirty! Number 11, Meryl Streep. Beyond the Devil Wears Prada, Big Little Lies, and Web Therapy, Meryl Streep is particularly known for her versatility in roles and her many highly accurate accents. Despite being nominated for 21 Academy Awards, she has only won three. She actually has more nominations than any other female actress. Meryl Streep donated every single penny she earned from Iron Lady to the National Women's History Museum, which she is the official spokeswoman for. 
Number 10. Lily Cole Known for her glamorous modeling career that had her listed in 2009 by Vogue Paris as one of the top 30 models of the 2000s, despite starting in her teen years, Lily Cole has carved out a pretty solid acting career too. She was the lead role in Elizabeth and star of The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, as well as featuring in her own feature, Lily Cole's Art Matters. Cole maintained top grades in college while modeling, proving brains and beauty go together. Number 9. Juliette Lewis Often known for her roles in films with dark themes like Cape Fear and Natural Born Killers, Juliette Lake Lewis has become well known for her portrayals of offbeat characters. She is one of five siblings, but always wanted to stand out, which she did. Since acting at 12 under her parents' supervision, she filed for emancipation at 15 so that she would legally be considered an adult, so that she would not be affected by child labor laws or her parents' rules. She won her case. Number 8. Rumor Willis Her full name is Rumor Glenn Willis, and she is an American actress and singer who has had hit roles in Hostage, The House Bunny, Sorority Row, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Rumor Willis is the daughter of former Hollywood power couple Demi Moore and Bruce Willis, who appeared on Dancing with the Stars. She didn't really need to carve out her own fame, but she did regardless, suggested herself for the role of her dad's kidnapped daughter in Hostage after reading the script. He wasn't too keen at first, but as we've seen, she got her way. Number 7. Maya Rudolph Gaining fame in the 1990s as a member of an alternative rock band called The Rentals, Maya Rudolph is now well known as an actress and a comedian in films like Bridesmaids. She's great friends with David Spade, appearing with him in Grown Ups and being a regular on Saturday Night Live. She's been called a comedy titan, being one of few female comedians to do so well. Number 6. Tori Spelling Tori, also known as Victoria, landed her first major role as Donna Martin on Beverly Hills 90210. Since then, she has had a pretty lucrative career and been through several scandals, one of which was her partner's affair with then 28-year-old Emily Goodhand. While on location shooting Chopped Canada, Tori didn't take this lying down, however, and documented the aftermath of the scandal for two seasons on Lifetime's hit series True Tori. After all, she wasn't the one doing the dirty. There have also been a fair few dramas over her excessive use of plastic surgery that gives her the unusual look we know and love today. Number 5. Rachel Dratch Rachel Dratch is an American actress, comedian, and writer who is in Just Go With It. Like Maya Rudolph, she has been a regular on Saturday Night Live too. She auditioned for Saturday Night Live and wasn't hired, but her perseverance paid off as the show hired her the following year. Number 4. Hilary Swank being a recipient of numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, two Critics' Choice Awards, and a Screen Actors Guild Award, it's hard to imagine anyone wouldn't recognize the name Hilary Swank. Just in case, here are a few roles she has been in. Million Dollar Baby, P.S. I Love You, The Hunt, and The Next Karate Kid. Despite that it seems her judgment on movie scripts isn't great, she was quoted as saying about the heartbreaking P.S. I Love You, I took P.S. I Love You you thinking it was going to be a little funny, and I ended up crying every day on that film. Big mistake? Great movie. You'd hardly know she was in her 40s. Maybe it's the tears as great moisturizer from filming so many heart-wrenching roles. More likely, though, it's because she took part in various swimming and gymnastics competitions in high school and has lived a healthy lifestyle ever since. Number 3. Kristen Schaal Kristen Schaal did pretty well, known as the voice of Louise Belcher on Bob's Burgers and Mabel Pines in Gravity Falls. But her charismatic and unusually large smile mean that her looks are equally memorable. She's definitely a quirky lady, but what did we expect from someone who was raised on a cattle ranch and had llamas present at her wedding? Number 2. Uma Thurman It's impossible to hear the name Uma Thurman without Kill Bill or Pulp Fiction springing to mind. Her name is as unique as they come, and apparently comes from being raised as a Buddhist because of her father's wishes. She even spent two years of her childhood in Elmora, an Indo Himalayan municipality of spiritual teaching and holistic practice, and had regular visits from the Dalai Lama himself. She doesn't retain the title of Buddhist, but it's hard to avoid the connotation with her name. 
Unfortunately, she doesn't mind, and it's not like she's called Gandon Denshin and Meepalm. Those are the names of her brothers. Number 1. Sandra Bernhard Since getting big in the 70s with her stand-up comedy where she harshly critiques celebrity culture and political figures, Sandra Bernhard has very much become one herself. A celebrity, not a politician. Although, some argue that she's both. She has had many great roles, including the satire Plump Fiction. She even has her own book, a feminist masterpiece with equal parts harsh truth and page-turning jokes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.